Hello guys, welcome to my new YouTube video. In this video I will show you the newest upgrade 7. So for the tool Trading Box Technical Analysis and this is version 7. The new inputs are from rename 1 to rename 10 and this parameter at timeframe tech. So what are these buttons? So you can see liquidity, price gap, quasi of fake support, fake resistance, fresh zone, consumed zone and groove zone. And you can rename this, let's say liquidity level. Anyway, you can rename all these for your trading strategy. These are the inputs for my trading strategy. Okay. Now let's look how this look on the charts. Let's say that I would like to have this rectangle here, put it here somewhere like this. And now this level here is for me consumed. So see, first time back, second time back, third time back. For me, this level is not okay anymore. It is consumed. And this is why I say here, I click rename and I get all these 10 options here and I say this is consumed zone. So I click it and I, I select where I would like to have this visible right here. So now I see that on H4 this is consumed zone. So now let's see what is fresh zone. Let's say that here is now fresh zone and I create a rectangle, place it to this zone here and say that this is now for me fresh zone. I clicked here and extend. So to see text I also click here no text so that this is now visible. So these buttons here, these no text alerts, this can be set by default. So if I go to here and let's say where is this option? No text by default. I will set to false and then every time it will be visible. Okay, so now, now here I have this fresh zone, H4, I just place alert. And that's it. So when the price came to here, I will see that it is going beyond the consume zone to the fresh zone and I can look for price action here. Okay, now we are going to top down analysis. Let's say what is else here. Let's say that here is also some fresh zone. I will, I will put for fresh zones this, like this one. But this is not anymore H4, this is now H1. H1 zone, so I will put it like this, rename, fresh zone and extend it. So you see now is H1, fresh zone. And this tag H1 is going, is coming from this input variable here. So add time frame tag. This is now too true, and this is why I'm getting here this time frame tag. So here, what I'm interested in is to alert and engulf alert, and also close alert, and maybe sound repeat alert, and maybe also split in with alert. So now, when price came to here, I get alerts price go and broke this level I get alert and also this split I will get alert. So this now H1 going back to H4. Oh yes I don't see this on H1 anymore because when I switch to lower time frame I see this one created on H1. And this is because of this setting here that I have. So it is called visibility for current and lower time frames. 
So that means if I create one object on H1, it will be also visible on M30 and below, but not above H1. As you see here, it is not visible because it, in this scale of H4, H1 is not important. And this is why it is visible only here. So if I'm analyzing this H1 scale, then I trade in this scale here. I'm not expecting something too much from this trade. Okay, now let's go back to H4. And now let's take some trend lines into action. Let's say that here is for me quasi-modal level and this is why I will this is why I will select that this is quasi-modal and extend it. And what is beautiful of this renames is that I can have multiple uh, renames with the same level. So also here is for me quasi-modo and I can also say quasi-modo extend it and you can see I can have objects with the same name on the chart. This is this is the biggest upgrade of this version 7. So having the same names on the chart. I can also now place alert here, alert and close, sundry bit alert and that's it for this setup here. Now what else we can have here, let's say from here what we have let's say that is it's nothing from here so if I would like to rename this to resistance I go to indicator list pick one what I don't like because let's say I don't want to have fake resistance I just press resistance level like this and you see it is changed now I say this is resistance level I click and extend it and place alert and that's it for this one so what else we can have let's say that we use this rectangle here and above all these highs here that I have, above all these highs here, I know that there is liquidity and I select this is liquidity. So I put text here and when I look this chart I see that I will not trade here because price need to go above liquidity to maybe some big trader is interested in selling a lot of orders here and also on the opposite side below we have here also this support and I also can say that this is for me liquidity so liquidity level and text like this and now we can see the price is trapped between liquidity for sell and liquidity for buy. And what we can expect, most obvious for my strategy is that price go breaking this liquidity and maybe enter here if there is price action or otherwise going to here. Also some price action and then we have targets at resistance level. Here I can take partial profit and hope price will go to this flare zone here. So price going through this consume zone to the flare zone. So I don't take profit here, I take it here. Basically this is the chart technical analysis tool that is used by a lot of my trading colleagues and with this trading technical analysis tool I also 
am more efficient in trading because you can see how fast I can mark the levels and name it. So also the same names are available. Also you can go to text and maybe on the different places you can put the text. But if you don't like you just can click here and delete this text and that's it. Or you can go to rename and say okay this is not consumed zone, this is I don't know engulfed zone just for this but anyway this is consumed zone for me. Anyway you are welcome to look my other YouTube videos. These are the tips on my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to my channel, like this video and see you in the next video. Bye bye.